Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another beautiful Wednesday. This is my third time recording this video because I'm very stupid. But I hope y'all are interested in hanging around because today we're going to be learning about AM and FM synthesis. So let's get right into it. <laughs> oh, I will also have a big announcement at the end to share with all of you. So make sure you stick around for that as well because it is very big, very important to me. And I hope you enjoy it when we get to it. Let's start off with learning what AM synthesis is. This is sort of building off what we learned a couple weeks ago with additive and subtractive synthesis. These are new synthesis techniques that can be used to create new sounds that are not available if you are limiting yourself to only using additive and subtractive styles of synthesis. They're both very simple to use and very easy to build off of. The theories and minutia and technical details behind them are really complicated but I will try to break them down in a way that you can understand so that you can use these techniques in the future when you're learning how to synthesize. AM synthesis stands for amplitude modulation synthesis, and it's sort of similar to additive synthesis in how it sounds and what the end product kind of is, but it's a lot different when you look at what it's actually doing. Basically what's happening is the amplitude of one waveform is being used to modulate another waveform. So you're combining these two waveforms together in a way that isn't necessarily adding them together, but instead you're imparting qualities of one waveform onto another waveform through modulation. If I were to break this down in a visual way, I have Serum here pulled up in front of me, and I have it set up so that this saw wave on the right is going to be modulating the sine wave on the left through AM synthesis. Right now we have a basic sine wave to start off with. Not very complicated at all, no special qualities to it, but if we start doing the amplitude modulation synthesis, you can hear it starts to get more qualities, more frequencies added in. It gets some qualities of that saw wave as well. And it's modulated and added together in a way that sounds different than if we were to just use additive synthesis to add these two together. For example, let's use additive synthesis right now, turn off our AM, and this is what it sounds like. It sounds a lot different than if we are to just use amplitude modulation synthesis and combine the two waves that way. In fact, I would say that using AM synthesis actually sounds better because it keeps the body of the sine wave intact while adding in qualities of that saw wave, which is where we start to learn how we can add waves together in different ways to get the best quality possible. Moving on to FM synthesis, it's a bit different. FM synthesis is frequency modulation synthesis. So instead of modulating with the amplitude, we're modulating with the frequencies included. And this style of synthesis is a lot more popular than AM synthesis because it gets a lot more crazy. Basically in layman's terms, the pitch and formant of one wave are being changed by using another wave's pitch and formant. Breaking it down that way really doesn't do it a lot of justice. I will be leaving resources and links below for you guys to explore that explain more of the technical minutia of it. But for now, that's basically what it does. If you're just getting into it, the, this is basically what it does. And you do have to be very careful with FM synthesis as well. This style of synthesis is modulating the frequencies of the waveforms that you're working with. So it goes from zero to 100 really fast. And what it will actually do is if you turn it up too much or if you're not careful with it, it will actually render the synth you are using pretty much unusable. You'll have to take that FM synthesis out and kind of restart on it. Or you'll have to do a lot of post-processing on the sound in the back end to make your sound usable, which is not something we want to do. We want to try and make it as usable as we can right out of the box and then add on our effects and our post-processing to make it sound even better. We don't want to start with shit and then try and polish the shit. Then you just end up with shiny shit. Nobody wants that. Starting again with our saw wave and our sine wave here, we have our basic sine wave. And then once we start doing the frequency modulation synthesis, we start adding more of those qualities in. As you can see, you can hear what I mean when I say it goes from 0 to 100 really fast. 
we turned it up to about 60% and it starts becoming unusable. And at 100%, this is what it sounds like. Not very nice, but you can find some interesting sounds if you just filter through this and change it by one or two percent at a time because it is so delicate and it is so extreme that changing it by one or two percent at a time will actually give you an entirely new sound. And of course you can play around with different waveforms and if you change the octaves or the tuning of what of your modulator instead of just changing the wave you can actually end up with some even more interesting sounds as well. You could not make something like that with AM synthesis or additive. Even if you were the best sound designer on the planet, I very much doubt you could make something like that unless you used a whole bunch of effects, phasers, choruses, a whole bunch of fancy shit, technical shit that you don't really want to go into because why would you do that if you can just use FM synthesis, am I right? And that's how you make alien sound effects. So you can already see that this opens up a whole new world of creativity for you. It opens up a whole bunch more options for your sound design. Additive and subtractive are a good starting point. AM and FM are a good middle point if you want to start getting into making more creative sounds. And if you like dubstep and EDM, oh boy, let me tell you, FM synthesis is going to be your new best friend because if you're wondering how they make a lot of those crazy basses, and crazy leads and all that, it's usually a fair bit of FM synthesis here and there and a lot of effects added on in the back end. And I just realized as well that while I have been showing you guys the basics of different types of synthesis, I actually haven't shown you the basics of any synths. So our next couple of videos are gonna be focusing on learning a little bit about Serum here and a little bit about FM8 here as well. Why FM8? A couple reasons, it's basically the powerhouse of any FM synthesis on the planet. It's way more powerful with FM synthesis than any other synth that I've ever seen. It's also a great synth for making plucks, arps, that kind of stuff. And it's also just great to learn. The more you know, the more you know, right? And the more you know, the smarter you are. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it useful and informative as always. If you feel like I missed anything, please uh, leave a comment below. I'm more than happy to help increase the amount of knowledge that these videos contain because that's what it's about. It's about sharing and helping each other grow and making each other smarter in the process. And as for that big announcement that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, well, here it is. Da, 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 da. I have an album coming out in about the third week of February. It's going to be coming out on a Friday. The exact date has slipped my mind because it's been a long day. But it will be coming out, I believe, in the third or fourth week of February. And if you've made it this far in the video, that means that you like my content. And I hope you that means that you'll also like my music because I'm very excited to share it with all of you. And I'm very excited as well because what we'll probably be doing is we'll probably be launching a live stream on the day that it is out. And if you guys have questions about how some of the music was written, orchestration questions, or questions about music theory, how did I write this, how would I write this, or, or questions about how you would write something, I will be answering those as well, but we'll only be on for maybe an hour or two most, so I hope you guys pop by for that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. It is a great new year so far. Uh, just try not to look at America too much and everything will be fine. So I will see you guys next week and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.